Wow, smart man. Fucking elbow. Do you have a monkey in your pants? Hi, right, folks. How's it going, Monkey Spaz? Five thousand back with another pickups video. It's Sunday morning just now. I got up early. It's um, that time of the year in the UK where the clocks went back and back an hour, I should say, and everybody wakes up thinking, is that really the time, or is that the wrong time, or is that the old time, or has my watch and phone and everything else changed, and that's really the time, and then there's a little moment of confusion, then you realise what the time is, then you end up getting up early o'clock. Like me. So I got up early o'clock this morning, um, and I will get on to the pickup part of this video, but I was, um, I opened my living room door and there was a bird flying about. For those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, my personal Facebook page, you will know that I've got a very stupid cat, I was going to say something else, who likes to bring animals in and then just play with them. I've currently got a mouse in the living room, it's hiding under the fridge, living room and kitchen, it's not separated, it's technically the kitchen, um, and, and I had a bird when I opened the door this morning and my wife shot herself because she thought it was a bat, but it was a tiny echo bird, but um, luckily... I managed to let it out and the cat hadn't killed it, probably like broken something, but it managed to fly off at least. But yeah, if you live in the countryside like me and you think it's an awesome idea to have a cat, awesome idea to let it out outside, it's natural instincts, have a wide open space to play and it's cruel to keep it inside, fucking no, keep your cat inside, do not let it live outside come outside in and out, in and out when it wants if you live in the countryside, because you will have mice, you will have birds, you will have, I've had a bat before, um, and yeah, and nine out of ten times he doesn't even eat them, just brings them in and goes, um, guys, uh, I brought, uh, I brought, uh, I brought a mouse in last night, guys, but, um, I've lost it, I, I think it's in, I think it's in this room somewhere, but I've, I've totally lost it, and I'm sorry, and then you're like, you'll be sitting and you'll hear it rustling about somewhere while the cat's asleep. And you're like, oh my god, oh my god. It was a couple of weeks ago, I opened up the... I was lying in bed, half one in the morning, and I heard a noise in the bedroom. I thought I knew where it was. Got up, moved everything out of the way. It wasn't there. Still heard the noise. Opened them, um, got two sets of double built-in wardrobes, Wendy Pops, um, opened the wardrobe door, and the mouse was just sitting, like, sitting on a pair of sh shoes, just cheekily sitting there going... And then it went, boom, and ran off, so... On my knees, in my pants, half past one at night, pulling all these shoes out of wardrobe to find a mouse. I caught it, but it took a bit of faffing. So, yeah. Tip one of today. I don't know if there's going to be any more tips. Don't have, Just fucking don't have a car. Seriously. I'd get another one if I thought it would stop it. They would fucking probably bring in multiple living things instead of just one bringing them in. I thought one could bring them in, one could kill them. Who knows? I do not know. Anyway, pickups. That's what it is. Um, a bit of a, a bit of a mostly spectrum. I was going to say a bit of a mixed bag. A bit of a mostly spectrum is what it is. Um, and on my never-ending quest to collect all the hit squad games, I still I'm, I'm looking at them on the shelf. I've still created a list and see how many I still actually need. But um, I bought these off of. Where did that come from? That didn't come with that. That came with that. No, it didn't. I do not even know. I think that came with that. Right, anyway, sorry. I should be a bit more organised. I bought all these off a Facebook seller. Facebook seller. It's a good place to find stuff. Um, but they're all games that I needed. I thought I actually had them, but I didn't. Or I had at least this one. Um, this was released on anything and everything. Are we on focus? There we go. I was looking at my phone because my phone tells me what you see. Um, Whizball. Um, it's a bit of a strange game. I think I played it. Primarily on the Commodore 64 and the Atari ST, I want to say. But um, it, I know it doesn't focus. Where's ball? And this one. Um, <laughs> it looks so much better on the front than what it does in the real life pictures on the back. Um, Konami Tennis. Never heard of that before. And I was really fucking surprised I didn't have this game. I do have it in the double jewel case. I was looking on the shelf again there. Really surprised I didn't have it. Um, reasonable price, but it is. The absolute classic Head Over Heels, it was released on, I was going to say nearly everything, but I think it was simply the home computers. I don't think this ever got like a, any sort of console port of any type, I don't think. It's a good game. How much is that dog in the window? You'll know what I mean, it plays that little bit of music now and again. 
but I was really surprised I didn't have that in the hit squad. It was only the double one that I had, but never mind. Um, next one. Is it a shoot em up? Maybe, but um, never heard of this before. But it's Puffy's Saga. It's a little dragon. Is that Puff? Got bogeys. Is that like Puff the Magic Dragon had a saga? Not a Sega. Spectrum. Anyway. So that was all of one procurement person. I know that's not even making sense. Um, I think these, uh, if I can stretch and lean, were all of another person. This No, this was all of, um, next lot was eBay, bundle. Um, funnily enough, the person that I bought those Hit Squad games from said, there's this other game on eBay, if you've not got it. And I went, is there? And I couldn't find it. And he went, no, it's part of a bundle. He went, here it is. I went, so it is. Thank you very much. Just checking my camera was still doing what it was supposed to be doing. But um, it is, it looks quite interesting actually. But it's Pictionary. Again, it's a game that can be a little bit hard to find, but it was sitting in a bundle and nobody else bid on it. So, winner, winner. Chicken dinner, me. This was in the bundle as well, which I do have in the double dual case thing, as well as the Hit Squad version already. So, this is a duplicate arcade classic, New Zealand story. Um, Oh, excuse me, I am also connect, connecting, collecting, that was that burp that put me off, Codemasters games, and I've not checked it, I've, see, Hit Squad games, I tend to know what I've got, Codemasters games, because I've not been actively collecting them, although I do have a lot of them, um, I'm not really sure what I do, I don't have in those at the moment, but um, Pro Skateboard Simulator by Codemasters, looks a bit like 720 degrees, and if you want to see gameplay videos as well, blah, 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 or of any of these, please let me know. Um, I will be doing them <coughs> all through time. And I do have this game. Oh, it's that game with the little knight dude, isn't it? Um, Spellbound. Uh, Mastertronic. I do already have that game. Now, this is a game I don't have, and I'm kind of surprised. I think I've only got Crazy Golf and Oh Mummy in these games. Um, Treasure Island Dizzy. There was a whole bunch of these games that came like in a park with a spectrum. Um, Punchy is another one. Oh, which I've got down there. Treasure Island Dizzy. I don't know how many there are, but I've got Oh Mummy, Crazy Golf, Treasure Island Dizzy now. Treasure Island Dizzy? It's not fucking Dizzy, it's just called Treasure Island. I'm getting carried away. Um, this game, um, I think I've already got it for the Spectrum. I think I do. But like I say, it was part of this bundle. But I primarily played this on the Commodore 64. Sorry, I'm trying to look, I'm trying to look past you. You're blocking my way at my games. Um, Milk Race, a, a rare game that I primarily played on the Commodore 64 because I did have a Commodore 64 for a little point in time back in the day. I'll maybe talk about that at some point. And this next game, which I don't think I already have. My Firebird games are up there. I can't read that well. Maybe I do. do not know. But it's um, Park Patrol. Again, I played this primarily on the Commodore 64 and it's really good on it as well. Um, you basically, you're in a dinghy or something and you pick up rubbish and you go in the water. Park Patrol. It's a fun little game. This game I do not have. Never heard of it. Vol game of the Year, BMA 84. It's a classic apparently, it says in the front. It's called Valhalla. Did you have this? Is it any good? I'm, 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 I don't know. What's this? Oh, this is one of those flippy ones. Look, flippy games. One side is Spectrum, other side is Amstrad. If they've done that with all the games, well, sometimes you need the backup on the other side in case one side doesn't load, but if you've done that with all the games, instantly my whole entire Spectrum collection would be, also be Amstrad games. Filth. Burn them all with fire! Sorry, bug. Um, on Q, Mastronic game. Looks like quite a simplistic snooker game. Look, no bad. No bad at all. And I mentioned a second ago, which is part of those Treasure Island and Oh Mummy and Crazy Golf games, and I think there maybe at least is another one, is Punchy, which, again, I've never played. Now, it's probably one of the first Spectrum games I actually saw in a case, and for some reason, I've never, like, back in the day when I was younger, but for some reason, I never ever played it. Probably absolutely toss pants, but I've got a good excuse to play it now. So I do, so I do, so I do. Right, um, what next? <coughs> Cough. 
Now these ones were from another Facebook chap. Um, this is an absolute classic game for the ZX Spectrum. Um, Turbo Esprit. It's basically yeah, like a lotus thing, obviously, right? But I can't show you. But you, you like you see the steering wheel and you like you're driving through like a city. It's really really good. I do have this game already, in the original um by Jarrell, um plastic clamshell case, which is in really really good condition actually. Glad to have that um in the collection. But um I've also now got this little version of it. It's a good game. Never played it. Give it a shot. It's quite cool. When you turn your car, it indicates it and everything. It's awesome. Now, he also had this game, and I thought, I don't have this game. It's probably absolutely shit pants, but it might be a fun little thing to play. And it's got no cassette label at all. I'm assuming one day it did. Imagine if you lost that in amongst similar beige colour cassettes. You'd have to, like, and if it was your favourite game, you'd have to, like, spend ages trying to load each one. But it is um, Galaxians, is what it is. Never played it, it's probably very simplistic. It looks like a very, very, very early game. Does it say a year in it? Does it say a year? Probably not. 1983, there you go. Very early game. Um, but I wanted it, because I thought it might be good for shits and giggles. Next game, I was kind of surprised I didn't have any of these games, because I do remember playing um, some variant of this game on my Spectrum when I was a child. Um, they're pretty good games, actually. Um, uh, by Gremlin Graphics, just seeing what was inside it. But it's um, Monty on the Run in one of these plastic um, clamshell cases. I'm sure there's a couple of Monty games. Uh, like I say, I do remember playing them and they're, they're quite fun. But Monty, Monty on the Run is what it is. Put that down there. Now, the last Spectrum game. I need a drink. As you can tell, I am primarily collecting Spectrum games. I'm still tossing about with the idea of Super Nintendo games, but that's just opening a whole a whole world of filth and silliness, no doubt. So <clears throat> that's why I'm keeping that on hold. But the next game is in like one of the biggest gate box boxes ever. If I saw this as a child with Spectrum, I would have thought this game's amazing. Look at the size of the box. It's fucking huge. Um, and I played this game originally on the Tari ST. Definitely. And then I think the Mega. I never even knew it existed for the Spectrum. It'll be interesting to see what it's like because I'm looking at the back of the box and it's got Atari ST graphics on it. But it's um, it's Carrier Command. Just checking, you can see it on the camera. Carrier Command. It's absolutely, it's a classic game. You, you have a big boat and you can launch like flying things off it. You can launch like little sea vessels off it. And I genuinely can't remember what you're supposed to do in the game for shit. But um, it's cool as fuck. Well, this is what I like. Open box. This is what I like about Spectrum games. Like you, f you find games that you never even knew existed before. And it's like, whoa! I never knew that was ever out in the Spectrum. Mission briefing and a ACC Epsilon Operations Guide. Top secret. Not for your eyes, only for mine. Instructions. And you get a, a carrier command. Instructions again. And then look, you get the game, and you get. Stereo extended version of the Carrier Command theme. Now, if you, it'd be good in theory if you could stick that in your Spectrum and play it while you're playing the game, but Spectrum doesn't play music cassettes very well. It would not sound nice, but that's cool as fuck. Look at that. Art box. Art box? Box art. You know what I'm saying. Amazing is what that is. Love it. Love, love come across stuff like that that I never even knew existed. Strategy simulation. I'm gonna try that shit out. Be hard as fucking bollocks hard. Bollocks hard. Next game. Modern. Once I get over that excitement of the car I command. Modern game. Xbox One game. Very new. Um, I bought this from Kevin. Oh, I always fucking forget his name. Kevin Wilford123. Something like that. Um, here, a YouTube buddy of mine. Um, he said he basically played it. He had no intentions to play the campaign. Um, to play the multiplayer, so he was selling it, and I was like, oh, I'll have that, but it is um, Gears of War 4, is what it is, uh, and it's also got the, the little stickers in it, thanks Kevin for not sticking them to your fridge, or wall, or something, but um, it's uh, one of these games, it's HDR, etc, so I'm keen to see what it looks like, because the Forza Horizon 3 looks really, really good on a HDR TV, HDR 10 TV is what I've got, 
um, 4K jobby, so it looks really, really good. So I will give that a go. I stuck that on there. Now the next two games, one's not new. Well, they're both new, but one's a little bit older than the other. We'll go with the first one first. It's sealed, but I, I'm, I was going to open it anyway because I will be playing it, but I'm going to have to open it because the disc is rattling about inside it. Now, I've owned this game multiple times. I originally bought a system solely to play this game, and still to this day, no messing about, is one of the best games I've ever played. The opening sequence of that game, my jaw hit the floor. You probably know what I'm coming to. But um, this is also, it's obviously the remastered version, which I have owned before, but I've never played it. Um, as the remastered version, it's also got the DLC on it, and I'm really genuinely looking forward to sitting down and playing this soon. But as um, Last of Us Remastered, awesome game. Naughty Dog, fucking know their shit. Like I say, it has to be one of the best games I've played ever, full stop. I can't wait to see. I think they're going to do a second. I think there was something announced recently, but that disc needs that needs open so I can stick it back in its hole. But yeah, Last of Us Remastered. Which is cool. The next game came yesterday. Is what it did, um, and I'm I, I'm wanting to play it, but I can't yet. I'll explain that in a second. Is Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim? Um, what's, what's it called? Special Edition. So it's like slightly enhanced version with minimal mods, especially on the PS4 version. Um, it's got some volumetric lighting and some depth of field effects, etc. But it's a game that I've had on the 360, um, a game that I had on the PC, I still have. Um, for some reason, I never really got into it, and I think now is time to waste my life and get into Skyrim a little bit. Now, because I do own it all on the PC, I automatically get the special edition for free, but as explained recently, I'm not really enjoying sitting here on my ass in this little room playing games on the PC. Yes, it's ridiculously powerful, I get an amazing experience, 1440p, resolution, um, well above 60 frames per second, etc. G-Sync monitor, yes, some people would be, some people would die for that kind of PC sort of thing if they're really wanting that sort of experience. But, as it, like I said, as I explained recently, I'm enjoying sitting on my sofa, um, on my bum hole, playing with a controller in hand, a lot comfier um, than sitting here in this little room in this little uncomfortable chair. Maybe I just need an uncomfortable, a comfortable chair, I should say. Who knows? But yeah, I do have this special edition for the PC. Not loaded it, played it. Um, I really want to play it on this. Um, which leads me on to, I want to play it on this, but I can't play it on this because I currently don't have a PlayStation 4. That might be rectified soon. In about 11 days. Something like that. But um, yeah, like I say, I've got a 4K TV, etc. Um why did I get this on the PS4 instead of the Xbox One? Because it's got less mods compared to the Xbox One mods. I'm not really that bothered about. But um, I'm curious to see what it looks like on the PlayStation 4 Pro. We'll leave that there. Um, so that's it, guys. Very short, sort of quick, early video for me on a Sunday morning. I'm, I'm, I'm out of bed and stuff. It's amazing. Maybe this will be update, uploaded, I should say, by next Sunday morning. How fast my internet goes. Who knows but um oh, fucking awesome game i really can't wait to play that um game like i say if you want to see any of the spectrum games let me know because i will be working my way through them if you want to see any of them first or if you've played carry command and you think it's fucking amazing tell me to play it now i've got really bad wind with that black fizzy juice and i will do but we'll leave it there guys like i say as always for me thank you much for watching please feel free to like comment subscribe Hopefully I'm going to go through back to the living room and I'm not going to have any more live animals crawling or flying about. Do you have a monkey in your pants?